Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's weekly watch list. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend and are looking forward to getting back to trading here come Monday. So let's start off before looking at the actual plays that I'm looking at for the week at the overall market as a whole to get a better picture of where we could see this week going. So we will start off here with the ES futures. And we can see that we've had this squeeze now, fire to the upside, made a nice great push up here to the plus two ATR. Um, I think that this squeeze will start to run out of steam here soon and that this level, um, this all time high could be a level that now comes as resistance and I think we should at least start reverting back down to this mean just due to the fact that this market has been absolutely pushing straight up basically vertically here the last two to three weeks so I do think it needs to have some sort of pullback um, just to reset itself for that next push higher but everything about this um, market does look bullish we have our stack DMAs we're in an acceleration stage as well. We're trading well above this 8 EMA and then even more well above this 21. And we have reclaimed the 50 simple moving average. So everything about this one does look bullish to me. I just ideally would like to see a pullback. <coughs> now if we go on to the Qs, similar story here. They just have pushed up a little higher. So they've surpassed that plus two ATR, kind of looking to go to this plus three ATR here. But just as the ES, I do think the odds of it continuing instead of reverting um, are probably lower. And I think that the overall market itself does just need to revert back to down to these levels and reset before pushing higher. But everything about the Qs themselves do look bullish as well. Now, if you look here at the Dow, Similar story, had that great daily squeeze, gives you this nice push to the upside, never actually got to that plus two ATR region, kind of reset itself here at the eight EMA and now is bouncing off of it. So this one could get a good push back up to this plus two ATR, ATR region due to the fact that it never actually came up and hit it in the first place and it rejected this eight EMA to the upside. So definitely look for this one to potentially continue uh, up to this plus two ATR, which is right around what is that almost 36,000 ish region? And last but not least, here we're gonna look at the Russell. So the Russell itself um, does look bullish here. We had this daily squeeze kind of fire almost to the upside. We did get a close, a few closes above that plus one ATR but it never really kind of broke out of that region and the squeeze is looking kind of choppy here. Um, still a low compression squeeze on it, so it technically hasn't fired, but we did break above that plus one ATR, which usually to me is a firing of a squeeze. Um, you get that push, came back down here, closed actually below the 21 EMA, but then the next day just absolutely ripped right back up above it. So this one I think will just keep chopping around as it has been doing for the last however many months if we look back here you can see that's all it's been doing is chopping back and forth and I think we'll just see a continuation with that because this squeeze didn't really seem to go anywhere but if we do look at a weekly time frame this could actually be the catalyst to get this one pushing farther and farther to that upside with this weekly squeeze getting nice bullish momentum into it and we're getting these closes above the 21 and we're holding this 8 EMA as well. I think that this one will now maybe start to push to that upside as long as this weekly squeeze can maintain its structure. I think that it could definitely start moving after this long period of consolidation. So that's the overall market as a whole. Now going into the actual plays that I'm looking at, the first one will be Airbnb. If we come down here, we can see we have a great daily squeeze setting up. We have two light blue bars, which mean good bullish, bullish momentum, and we're sitting right around that 21 and 8 EMA. So this is definitely like an ideal buy zone anywhere between these two levels. If we can get a pullback back down to about 169.5, I will definitely be taking an entry at those levels. 
I also like it because we have our stacked DMAs and everything about its structure is just bullish overall. So this one does look solid to that upside. The next one I'm looking at is Ampercrombie and Fitch. So if we come down here, we can see the daily squeeze is setting up. Our histogram is still below that zero line, but it is getting closer to breaking that. And its structure here does look solid. It's been holding this 50 simple very well here. And now it is getting these closes above the 21 as well. We have our stack DMAs, acceleration stage. You just ideally need to pull back to at least the 8 EMA, which is probably around that 39 region. If we can get that pullback, I think that would be a great entry for this one to get long on. Next one here is the Hartford. So this one has been on a great trend going straight up here. Really like the trend on this one. And then with this squeeze setting up, our histogram is above the zero line, so I like that. The structure alone, it usually comes down to the 21, bounces down to the 21, bounces. So every time it's been coming back down to this 21, it is bouncing off of those levels. With the close here um, between the 8 EMA and the 21 EMA, I think that probably Monday you can get a good entry, hopefully around... I would say 72 and a half if you can get that. That'd be a good entry for this one to go to the long side. Um, just due to its structure in the past always bouncing off of that 21. So I think if you can get at that level, it'd be a great uh, price. The next one I'm looking at here is Marriott. This one as well has been in a nice trend going up here. We have came down to the 21 here, have bounced off of it, and with this squeeze forming, I do hope that we can get another fall back down to this 21 before um, it actually starts firing to that upside. So definitely look for a fall back down to the level about 155 and a half. I think that would be a great place to get long on Marriott. So last but not least, the last stock I am looking at is PacWest. Its structure looks very nice. We have our stacked DMAs, acceleration stage. You got this nice push here, and now we're consolidate, consolidating here with this squeeze. Histogram is still above zero, and price is trading above the 21 EMA. Just like the other ones I said, ideal entries is between the 8 EMA and this 21 EMA. So look for a pullback into that region before looking long on this one. So these are the stocks that I'm looking at for the upcoming week. Hopefully they help you get a few more on your watch list that you can watch as well for the upcoming week. And let's go out there on Monday and start making some money.